Okay, round two on making this video. Let's see if I can step it up. Let me show you. This is a thermal device, and let me show you what we're looking at. We're looking at an attic, and I'll talk kind of fast here. But the last one took 22 minutes. Um, we're looking at an attic. Uh, the, the reflectivity and, and, and the pollution of the heat from the light source, I, I haven't took, the, took this image without. So this is the uh, daytime. Um, this is uninsulated uh, ceiling. I'm sorry, uh, roof rafters, roof roof, and roof decking uh, with roof rafters. The ceiling is insulated. Uh, to cut to the chase, the ceiling is putting out at um, 85.2 degrees. This would be the temperature inside the house plus the attic temperature. The roof decking is what we're really going to be concerned with. What I'm going to show you is this reflective material is going to be, it's right next, here's the spot we're looking at. Here is... Um, here is the uh, shot next to it. So here's the roof rafter, just plain. It's pumping in at 92 degrees, minus 92 and a half um, maximum temperature here, and that's the roof rafters and et cetera. They do act as an insulation value. Incidentally, I'll show you how much you can get out of uh, wood material, well, what wood material can do. So you see that uh, that's a two by eight, I think. It's 84 has some serious um, insulating value, or value. All right, back to the roof deck. So our roof deck is 92 and a half degrees. Let's see if we can get anything hotter than that out here. 92 is towards the top of the roof and the lower part of the roof, which I'll explain hopefully too. All right, moving on. 92 degrees, 92 and a half. Now, that's it. There we go, 92 and a half again. Let's take a measurement. Let me check my Kaiser. 91, 91, 91, 91 and a half, 90. Okay, well, never, nevertheless, we've got 92 down here, 93 degrees. All right, so we got 93, but let's just throw these some averages in there and just call it 92, 91 and a half, whatever you want to call it. Let's move on. Now I'm going to show you, that's, now I'm going to show you with the reflective material. That's the shot of the reflective material and insulation. Remember, the insulation is holding up at 85 right now until the attic blows out. There's the insulation at, um, uh, correction, uh, 80. Um, now I'll take this guy and I'll show you the reflective material. You can see it's 80 degrees, 81. There's, uh, there's, a, there's a, almost a 10 point spread on that um, without using this reflective material. And that's it. There's nothing else behind it. There's nothing else behind it. Now, people tell you that the roof will get hotter. Um, all right, so the roof will get hotter. And I can adjust that with you real fast, too. It'll get more hot. Um, so right now, we're at, it's a 10-point spread, as you can see, fa fast enough. Now, let me just get away from this guy and move on. Bear with me. If, I don't know if you can hear the little honging in the ear. So this is what this guy looks like. Let's go here. Let's pull up a spot and show you um, flooring, the floor decking, 80 degrees. Insulation over here, 81. All the same. It's being transferred. I do have a power fan on in this, at this point in the uh, in the uh, vi imaging. Okay. Um, have a look. You can see it. Uh, this is just phase. We'll just ignore that image. I'll show you this image. So this is the uh, gable end of the roof. Um, here's the insulation rolled up. This is going to, this guy here will just be a slight difference. Um, let's see. Well, that's not going to help us because I want to show you gable ends. Okay. Okay. So this is just me testing something. Uh, getting a baseline. Baseline and let's go here. Okay. Let's go to the roof now. Um, okay, to the roof. On the roof, there's a power fan and then there's a non power fan. Same side of the roof, so I can give you a nice idea what's going on. The heat rises like a chimney effect, right? Uh, it gets pulled up. This guy's just passive, it's, it, the heat comes out of the hole in the roof, if you will. There's no, there's no uh, ridge vent, which one will get. 
but you would think this thing is really working when it spins, right? And this is a power vent. Now let's see the reality of it. Oops. Here's the reality. The power fan um, is sucking the air out and uh, cut to the chase a little bit. It's got this hood on it, right? And that hood blows the air back down, which then has a cooling effect on the roof itself. So it's, it serves uh, multiple purposes besides pulling the air out. That hot air coming out of the attic then hits this roof, which cools it down because it's, the roof decking is hotter than the attic's heat, um, cooler than the attic's, than the, uh, yeah. It's hotter than the attic's heat, and the hot attic heat has a cooling effect on the roof decking. There's the uh, pa the non-power fan, and it's it's got nothing going on, if you will. Um, let's grab a tool and show you what's going on here. So I'll explain to the right here. This is the spot one, 91 degrees. This is the coolest spot in there, and this is the hottest spot as, as it's taking with the image initially. Um, let's come down to the end of the roof here. Near the end of the roofs, the corners of them, if you will, are always cooler. They have a, you know, more, uh, well, they, they don't have heat built up. So they have the cooler compared to the coolest area compared to the rest, even the overhangs. I use this tool to help me determine where and how many of these guys I'm going to help, I'm going to install to, to uh, cool the roof down, if you will. I find that, uh, as you can see here, you can come out, this thing has a cooling effect all the way out to these are five inch exposures. Here's the edge of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, you, you've got all the way out to 40 inches of cooling effect. Let's come down here. As this blows out of there, it, looking at over here, spot number two, it's down to 101 degrees at the roof decking. Now, if we come over here, this roof decking is 130 degrees. Look to the right over here. You see that 130 degrees. If I tr would turn, were to turn this off, this would be 130 degrees or, or close to, since this would still would be a passive, it would be close to this guy, 130. Uh, it's even hotter, 140 degrees over here, close to this reflective bin. All right, as you come all the way out here to 40 inches, look, 117.5, 117.5. We're over here at 100 degrees. So you can see this thing has a major cooling effect, um, the fan blowing out. Why? This is why. And so now your attic is not going to get as hot. Here's the... Uh, Sort of a so so heat heat is pulled uh, the uh, is to the uh, hottest area um, so the cool areas here is pulled up pulled up to the chimney effect to this hottest area this became a cool area now so my top my roof is cool um, it's going to start pulling back down towards here this air and it's going to create this circulation effect if you will on the underside if I were to put this at the top of the roof um, if I were to move this up to here. I then lose all that area this thing can cool just by blowing the air out. I will have like a half moon, if you will, um, a half circle, half radius of cooling. And the other, since it's a ridge roof, an A-frame roof, the uh, cooling would just blow off the roof to the other side into, into space, if you will, into the ambient air. And I would be losing the advantage of, of this. That's why I don't put them at the very top. Um, and I've played with this multiple ways, looking at temperatures. I have installed them there replacing these guys and then evaluating. For example, I will replace this with a power vent and maybe I'll make another video showing you the difference of the cooling, um, how it's lost, etc. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. These things are quite annoying to make videos like this, technical videos. Um, and I'm not sure how much they appreciate it, so my energy is wasted. The, uh, so this is all the cooling effect of this guy. This one has uh, nil, basically. Let's grab that spot and show you what nil looks like. Nil meaning, you know, next to nothing. Zero. Look at this thing. There's the metal itself down to 100 degrees. Um, as we come up here, we're at 82, 70, 65. I don't get reflection. I'm getting reflection at that point um, from the sky because the ambient temperature was, uh, um, it's reading atmosphere, see? 68 in reality is more like uh, 85. Um, so now, um, oh no, 75, sorry. Yeah. And there we go. Let me do this. Put 
Nina turned up on me. And there's my start adjustment. Add it a little bit here. Oh, I missed my selection for a good reading. For a good reading. Um, let's go clear and close. Nice. I'll do this. Moving on. I want to show you something else. I just wanted to play with that. With the one gauge there, I need to. Oh, I'm doing that. That's why. Let me go back out. Um, that that's not the way to do that. I just wanted to buy some sample something. Now let me show you something here. So here's a flat roof um, with a pitch roof uh, tie-in. Now this will help me show the uh, where I'm going to put this guy, the next uh, vent, and so down here. Remember I told you the edge of the roofs. Uh, edge of roofs are pretty cool. And nevertheless, I'm still at pretty significant temperature, 130 degrees, and all this guy is coming in hot. But I'm going to find a hot spot. I'm going to find a hot spot on this roof, and you know, all of this is fair game. I'm just looking at it, just a hell of it. All of it's fair game. All of this area here. Um, I am going to put one here see how much I can get a, a pulling effect of uh, the sky down here. If not, I'm going to have to make a, a raised special angled um, wood um, frame to lay on this flat decking to then put an exhaust fan in there to, to cool this section of the house. It's the second floor and it really is significant, hugely, immensely significant. It's really worth every dime. Um, but it, it would be a waste for me to put it here. All I would be doing is pull, pulling air from here and here. So this shows me that when I do this, I'll start one up here, which is going to give me a huge area. Hopefully I can pull here and watch these guys drop uh, significantly. And if not, I'll put another one there. Um, let's go. Let's move on. I want to show you the other side of reflectivity. And am I going to run? Let's take another shot. Nope. Okay. So there's a fan. Um, there's this, um, uh, there's that guy, the dry, the dry guy. Um, it's on. I stopped it from rotating. And it's reading 127 degrees. It's coming out of there. Um, it is, let's grab this guy and there's my pool. And I'm going to wrap this up in just about three more minutes, I'm hoping. So we've got 140 degrees next to it, which is, you know, terrible. There's it right there, 140 degrees. These are useless. I mean, they're not useless. They're just, they're just a waste of money. Waste of money. Um, now I'm going to show you the other side. There's one more. Let me run up here. Okay. So now this is the where all that reflective material is um, down to, up to here, up to the ridge, in fact, but not on this very end. Just count this. But this area all has reflective material on it. So we're going to take a reading now. Reflective material. This roof is now significantly warm, warmer. Um, got a 140 degrees, a max at where the heck is the max over here? Max at 142. So, you know what? That color looks the same as there. So we're going to call it 142 and a half. Um, but look at the whole area. So let's average it down to. Let's grab this guy. Just want to run the sky over here. Some green. 140, 130. Yeah. All right, let's just call it, let's call it 141, 140, you know, with the max, but that's a significant amount of hot heat there in this ridge. So, let's say we'll mix it 142. Let's just go with 142. Uh, 142 degrees, going back to that. On this side, so the reflectivity material is here. On this side, there is none. So go here. 142. Grab this guy. Move it in. 
and now we have 136. So you can see that I, by putting that reflective material, I've increased my roof temperature, the exterior roof temperature by, well, and that is the sunny side over here too right now. The sun is right about here. If you can just follow, if you were standing here and look straight up, the sun would be a, you know, about this direction, not dead center. Um, so 142, um, mm, I'm sorry. So 142 and now we're at uh, 136. So I put this temperature of the roof up six degrees exteriorly by putting that material on. So you're saying that's gonna wear the shingles out prematurely. Well, it's not gonna wear the inside of the house out prematurely, that's for sure. But remember, um, you know, that, that's where we want comfort. We want to put the good with the bad. So remember that, um, this guy in the way. So remember that 142, we click this guy. Uh, there is no material around this right now. And we're going to take a reading. 142, remember, and here we go. So around this guy, we're at 136. Again, no materials over here, no reflective material. So it's consistent. So the, uh, the, the sun, this is, has no effect on cooling the roof decking around it. Um, this ridge area um, is 122. This is cooler probably because of what I said, is the chimney effect cooling it down. Um, and it's just coming up and out. And you can see the color variations. So it is, uh, even though it's not at the very top, because it's pulling now, this gets to pull that and you get some cooling. Look on the other side, this is perfect. You can see that there is no effect over here. This is a regular roof uh, shingle temperature again. It, it can't really do its magic over here. Um, but on the other hand, uh, the power vent can. It can do its magic. Um, and that's from the other angle of it. It can do its magic up to here. Here it is 110 and it's pulling. Whoop, whoop. Gotta make the sounds when you're doing this. And it's pulling. And if we get to 136 out here, we're still not at 136. So we're still getting a pulling effect um, way down here. And you can count your singles. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, we're out there 40 inches and still having this pulling effect. Somewhere back over there. So you, you know, you can blow it out nine shingles if you like. Um, 45 inches. This thing has got a huge um, um, influence. And I like to pull out temperature alone. But this device, its device itself is the fan itself is cooling down the top of this at 106, 10, we call it 107.2. Um, the hottest spot should be the motor in there. Um, but again, the fan itself is having a cooling effect on the entire thing. In fact, our highest, our highest temperature is 113. As we go back to this guy, our highest temperature is 140. And on the device itself, we're going to move it at the highest temperature on the device is, where is it? Oh, it's upside down. One, you know, we're at 130. This has no cooling, it doesn't have a residual cooling effect on itself. Um, so that's bringing, so the, the metal itself touching the roof, it's 93 degrees, that's nice. Um, so we're not actually creating more heat with with this uh, metal heating up. And that's 55 degrees, that's uh, reflective from the sky, literally. And over here is 96, and let's see what else here, it could be reflective. Anyway, um, this is getting, anyway, you, 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 you're, you're following what I'm saying here. That's reflective. That's the that's the sky, literally the sky. My my instruments, um, my, my angle of instruments with the device reflective from that. Back to this one. So um, let's just do this. All right, moving on, moving on, and I'm going to do two more things for you. Make sure you can find the image. Let's start with this one. So that's the roof image. Uh, we see what's in it, that guy and this guy. Um, this, this influence is way down here at uh, max, I'm gonna go max, 140. So we're, we're done with the influence of this, the blowing out, the blowing, the force down air effect out through um, this guy. Make sure you count the shingles. 
here. One, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, six. Six, uh, six, seven, five, seven, if we're close. Um, oop, no, you know what? I've got to put it in the center. Not going to fit in. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forty inches. And at 40 inches, we're down at 126. And past that, we're now at a uh, 131. At regular roof temperature, we're out here at 135. Down here, this is so far out of the range, I shouldn't even be looking at it. Shouldn't look at it. I mean, that's about right. That house probably is 87 degrees. We are at 120 temperature, and what's going on with it? Uh, it is 93. Let me go back and do a quick comparison. 95. And this is so I check how far I can go from it. You know what this is when I got rid of one. So we're at 123, 125. Yeah, pretty pretty close to accurate, even at that distance. Okay, so you see what's going on here. Oh. If I want to cool out more of this roof, I can cool it down here. I can put another exhaust fan in, staggering them, creating a stagger effect. I've seen them where you loaded these roofs up and they just melt, melt, melt all of the damn uh, sun's rays, basically. You've got the fans blowing down there and you've got a roof that has no uh, no issue with you. And we're going to the last one, both sides. You can see now what I meant by it crossing over. Let's go about six of an inch. Okay, so this will be the last one. And you can see how it crosses over, and this guy is not crossing over. 131, he's coming down to 135. And 127. And we're out here in fluence of this guy. The ridge is cool. It's coming down. And we're trying to find a 135. That's when we're no longer in the fluence of this guy because we made the change of temperature. We're still in it. We're still in it. I'm wrapping this video up. So when I put the other one on, this one, these guys will just cancel, not cancel each other out, but they'll just want to do their thing together. But I'll stay out of the influence of this guy, which is over there. So this crosses over, and this is at 117. So the neck, this guy, when we put over here, will actually be lower, because I don't need to double this area up. That's just a waste of, uh, of uh, power. So this one will... will since this comes over um, 125, let's go down here to here. I'll drop down 10 inches. I'll drop this one down an additional 10 inches over here. And this guy over here, 135 is down. Again, the sun is over here above me. So now the sun's shedding its rays reflectively this way. So it's a little bit cooler on these shin bolts. Where are we at? 134. That'll be blue. That's going to cry it out. I'll try to cheat with this one. This is a power fan. So I'll put the, the other one here and see if I can get this one to uh, uh, see what see what happens if I'm reversing it, reversing this thing and pulling air from outside and, and doing something crazy by creating a vacuum coming this way. I'll try that. I like experimenting. Um, and uh, that's that. That's that one. Here's this one again. Make a conversion of it. And you see the influences. I've got a major dead area here above the bedrooms um, that I can probably resolve significant pretty easily. And here's that entire roof there. Let's go ahead and take a scram at, scan at it. And so let's just move this guy around. Oops. So our hot spot in here is uh, 137. I'm going to drop this down, um, I'm going to move this over here, I'm going to drop it down four shingles, 126, I'm going to come down four shingles further on the other exhaust fan over here. I'm done, I'm done, you guys understand what's going on right now, you understand what's going on, 117, and here's your scale for the coolness coolest it is so if you're losing track of what you're or looking at see yellow is a little bit hotter and reds the way I split the scale set the scale okay let's see if I'm gonna end this video now by looking at
some of these images. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's show you what this guy looks like. Uh, 80 degrees. This guy. Okay, back to this guy. Hmm. Bring it back to the roof. Okay, you can see what my, what my influence is from the outside edge of this building. So again, it looks like right about here is where another exhaust fan is going to go. It's a huge roof. Um, this guy. Let's see what goes on here. I think we did this one, but I'm going to make you guys look at it anyway. It's the reflective material. As I said, I no longer have the reflective material there at the edge. On the gable end, and so that roof temperature is 134, as it should be, as the other side of the uh, roof was that I showed you without it. Now coming here, we're going to step it way up to what you see, 143, and again, that's that reflective material increasing the temperature. Um, but that will be canceled out once the exhaust fan's in installed. In a, in a small area, significant area. Anyway, I'll, I'll do. I might do a video on this to show you um, how it. Um, all right, since you're blocking the bays off of the roof, you you no longer get the total cooling effect of all the exhaust of uh, cooling off the entire area of the roof. Um, you're you're cooling off the attic, um, which is also cooling off the reflective material, which is which is well taking some heat off the reflective. I'm, ha I'm hanging up. I'm shutting up and hanging up on you guys. Uh, hmm, we did that one. Nope. Nope. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Don't forget to influence the flex colors. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, look at that. I mean, this is lower than the, the damn high roof structure. Wow, I mean, this is. Oh, I'm going to do that. Hmm. Might as well. Okay. Well, this is kind of cool. I went up and over the roof on the very end there. Um, so I have to do, we have to take a few things I said with the green salt now. And the salt I'm going to give you is the. Uh, is the um, gray. Nope. Yeah. This has reflective material coming right up out to there. I overlapped and came down. Um, right to there. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. This should be actually a little hotter here. Just got to make sure. Um, I think we made it this time. Thirty-five. This is sucking out. Also, so close. Yeah. Okay. So that reflective material being is there, and and with the reflective material, so reflective material is over here too. But here's exhaust fan so close. With that set, and this ridge underside of the ridge is totally covered by reflective material coming down to right about there. Um, with that said. Can't use this. I know the structure under there is another sub roof underneath that. We can use this side. 136. I'm moving to another image that we can use. Um, hmm. Not really. Let me back out. Not really. This has got a sub roof underneath this A frame over here. So that's not going to be fair to uh, compare left and right at that point. What would be fair though is to. Be fair. Where is that one? Let me just get, bear with me. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, what would be 
Let's do this. Oh, the fucking material is over through here. To the side. Yeah. The fucking material is here. The fucking material is here. So now we take a measurement. Thirty-one, three. Do remember the other side of the reflecting material was unexhausted when I was putting that at one forty-five degrees hotter, like one forty-two or something. Um, and here it is. At, let's let's call it one thirty. Will the reflected material in play with the exhaust fan? And it will get in the same effect. One thirty-one. One thirty. Um, so we're getting the value of the reflecting material cooling the roof down, uh, cooling the attic down, and it's not going to accumulate. Look at where I am. I'm wrapping this up. Sorry for talking a bit. It's not interfering with our. Temperatures. Here we go. Here we go. 142. 142. So ideally, we want to see 135. Pretty ideal, similar to the outside of the roof without the reflecting. And yet, when you saw the inside, you saw that my temperature came down six degrees. I'm wrapping this up again. Insulating material does work great. Showed you a few, um, a few uh, attic or uh, exhaust fans and exhaust fans and why I like them. Um, power exhaust fans, why I don't like the non-power exhaust fans, and their area of influence, also how they can cool the roof down. Sorry about that video being boring, I'm sure that what it shows. 